Hey guys, my name is Alyssa and I will be doing a makeup tutorial today and showing you how I did my makeup for the pumpkin patch. Pumpkin patches are my favorite thing, so I just want to share that love for you guys. Um, and you can see my love for makeup, especially through this tutorial. So here is a get ready with me and I really hope you guys love it. Today I'm going to be filming a get ready with me to go to the pumpkin patch. One thing about me is I love pumpkin patches. They're literally my favorite thing to go do, especially with my family. So I also hope that I can put this on correctly. Come on, work with me. Okay, so this is my first vlog, so bear with me while I navigate how to do this. We're gonna be doing makeup today. So makeup has been something I really love and I just have a big passion for. So you guys are gonna you know, come along and watch me do my makeup. So first I'm gonna start out with the Milk Hydro Grip. I got a sample of this because I didn't know if I was gonna love it. I heard a lot of the hype, but I wasn't sure. And I do love it. Um, otherwise I have the Elephant. It's the D Bronzy Anti Pollution Drops to give you a nice bronze and I literally just put the tiniest bit of it because it goes a long way and put that on all over and then I just rub it in and then just to get a little bit of that extra dew I'm actually gonna put some of the flawless filter just because we're taking pictures today, so I want to make sure that I am very glowy. I am going to go in with my foundation. I go with the Ilia. I think it's the most just hydrating. Also has coverage. Beautiful. And I just spilt it foundation and we hope we didn't ruin the outfit the only thing I'll say is um even when I shake it it's still very as you can see it's like falling off my face but I'm also using the marshmallow sponge I love this sponge I didn't think I was gonna love it there was a hype around it and I did so definitely a great purchase I won't use anything else these are the only sponges I use now compared to my beauty blender and those beauty blenders are expensive. Can you see that? I mean, seriously, like beautiful coverage. And this isn't even that much. And that's exactly how I like it. I really just love the more of a natural finish than anything. So normally I go in with my Kosas concealer, um, but because we're gonna be taking a ton of pictures, I'm gonna go with something a little bit more full coverage. And that is the Hourglass. And I get it in the shade Cotton. And I put it under my eyes, you know, typical spots. And again, Marshmallow Spudge, this is the other one that is more angle shaped. Again, absolutely love it. Just blending out. Okay, so then I do go in with my bronzer. I love this bronzer. It is the beautiful Skin Sunkissed Bronzer. I believe it's the medium one. Yeah, two medium. And I feel like it's the perfect shade. This is also the brush by Fenty, the bronzer brush. It's like the perfect angle and I literally just work it in like so around my face. And I just put it all over my face. As simple as that my sound. Okay, after that, now that I'm done with kind of my cream products, I'm gonna go more into my powders. I love the Hourglass Veal Powder. It is very hydrating. It is definitely worth the hype. I know that this had a hype and then the Huda Beauty one came out, but I just still see myself pulling for this powder. And I just put it in the areas 
that I really like. I don't like to put too much of this because I feel like that defeats the purpose of a glow. Because then I feel like you're just matting it down and then why are you using a ton of glowy products? I don't know. That's just me though. Definitely just my preference. So no hate to anyone who does use glowy products and puts a lot of powder. I mean, literally to each their own. You do you on your makeup. Um, and then I'm going to go in with my blush. Sorry if I do this backwards, but just the way my camera died. Um, I was able to plug it in and hopefully that helps. But as I was saying, I was just going in with my blush and I put a little on my nose just like that and then get it up close so you can really see what that looks like so far. Also, don't judge my eyebrows because I need to get them done. I've been letting them get too bushy, which on to the next thing is going to be my eyebrows. So because I cannot do my eyebrows in the camera, I am going to use the mirror on one of my tiny little palettes here. So I literally just, I don't know, I add like little lines. And I try to just fluff them out and make them just look super fluffy. I don't fill them in that much, like, you know, I don't really film much in the middle area because I have a ton of hairs there. But funny story, I actually busted open both sides of my head, so I have scars on both eyebrows. So you can't see it as much to this day because I do have bushier brows, but they are there. But then, we're not done quite yet. I still go in with my Kosas brow gel it's the air brow and I just fluff them up even more <laughs> I get the color just because I think it adds just a little a little bit more something makes them a little bit darker it's my favorite so so in the meantime this is when I'm gonna add my Too Faced lip extreme when I do this while it sits so that's kind of one thing I let as I finish my makeup. You just let that do its thing. Um, after you use it for so long, it actually doesn't get that tingly. So that's just me though. Next, I'm just going to do a very simple eyeshadow look. Um, again, we're just going to the pumpkin patch. So I'm going to go for more of that dark look. And I'm just going to work it all over. Perfect. <clears throat> then I actually add a little bit more of like a brown and I usually use that with a bronzer. I don't know why, but it just makes it very pretty and I work that towards the outside. My mom called. One second. Hello. Hey. Hey. I'm gonna take this and that is the Morphe Jaclyn Hill JH41 brush. It's just a flat brush and I'm just gonna dip into these two colors and just put it right here. But it just adds a little something. Then I'm going to take the same brush and dip into the shade and put it right underneath my eye. Like so. Now I'm going to be going in with the Huda Beauty Lip Contour in Honey Beige. It is my favorite lip liner and I'm just gonna go around my lip if you kind of understand that I'm just gonna go around my lip I don't overline very much just make sure it's nice and lined 
And then, because I want my lips to, lipstick to last all day, normally my go-to is going to be the Ariana Grande Ram Beauty in shade Bubbly. The prettiest color, just going to show you for... Oh, so beautiful. But it also doesn't last that long, so... I'm going to go in with my Melted Matte Too Faced. This has been a staple for me for a really long time. It's the Liquid Matte and Cool Girl. Literally one of my favorite lipsticks. I actually got my friend this for her birthday and she wears it all the time. I better disclaim that it's my best friend because if she watched this and sees that I didn't say best friend, she'll be mad. beautiful sometimes it can wash you out a little bit um, but I promise it goes really well once the makeup look is completely done especially I probably wouldn't recommend this color if you have like a darker complexion because I feel like it's not gonna really help you stand out And then now we're going to the lashes. Lord, help me. I am going to go in with the Light Camera Lashes 4-in-1 Mascara. I think that's as good as it's going to get. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit more blush on. I love blush and I just want to make sure I'm very blushy. I know it's around my forehead. Perfect. Blushy cheeks. And then lastly, I'm going to go in with the Huda. Not Huda. <laughs> the Benefit cookie highlighter just a little on my nose on my cheeks like look look how blinding that is I mean it's like I mean this is sleeped on literally it is one of my favorite highlighters I have always been drawn to it and never really went with anything else so pretty and that is the look. I literally love it. Just so you can see, and then we'll take the hair down.